Well, here we snow again. We've got another winter storm with blizzard conditions possible in parts of the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. Let's break down those details. One characteristic of winter storm Seneca will be how quickly conditions will go downhill through Thursday evening. I'm looking at the timing of this, already by late Thursday afternoon, we're talking about heavy snow moving into places like Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, snow also picking up in parts of the Twin Cities with increasing winds. So we can expect one to two inch per hour snowfall rates Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening as the storm really ramps up uh, moving northward into Wisconsin and the UP of Michigan. And even by Friday morning, what, despite most of the snow being over in uh, the Twin Cities and snow being pretty much done in uh, parts of uh, Iowa, you'll continue to have strong north to northwest winds with blowing and drifting snow. So again, very dangerous travel conditions on the roads. I would suggest being off the roads uh, Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening in much of Minnesota, Iowa, and northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan. Now looking at snowfall amounts, uh, the greatest snowfall amounts we're expecting is a swath of at least five inches from uh, north central Iowa through uh, eastern Minnesota, north and western Wisconsin into the western upper peninsula of Michigan with likely some amounts over a foot, especially near the Lake Superior shoreline, places like Ashland, Wisconsin, maybe even down toward uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin as well. A good 8 to 12 inches is expected in the uh, Twin Cities metro area through early Friday. And just a reminder, again, we have blizzard warnings in effect in several areas, especially in the outlying areas of Minnesota and Iowa. And a blizzard is defined as at least three hours of falling or blowing snow with visibility less than a quarter mile and sustained winds or frequent gusts 35 miles per hour or higher. So again, stay off the roads uh, with this particular storm, especially in outlying areas. It can be a life-threatening situation. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Erdman, The Weather Channel.